so we're out for a Sunday hike. It's uh, 2.11. I've been out here for a little while taking some pictures of the bees, actually. And uh, checking on my this tree here. I hear some bells digging. Bikes. The tree is still standing. For now. Let these bikes go by. Hi. Pretty good, Let me see. We go. We go towards the bay. We almost always go towards the bay. It's more scenic. It's either that or you head towards the city. It gets quieter, too. It's back towards, well, I guess. Honestly, the quietest place is in the middle. A lot of destruction still from the storms. A lot of dead vegetation. Like, it's just leaves and branches from things falling from above. They're starting to built. You can see on the whole. It changes the scenery. It was like lush green. Now there's like green with filter with like little bits of death all through it. Like brown, oranges. And adds a little different little color to it. Yellow like that. Like the leaves. A little sense of fall. Things to come. I mean we're in August right? Almost. Another well, Tuesday, I think, is the first, actually. A couple more days, and we'll be in August. So, August, another good month of summer. But end of August. Actually, around here, I mean, right on the lake, we don't, we get late fall. Our fall comes almost a month later than, you know, just an hour south of us. Just because of the lake temperature, we'll keep the air warm for a while. And that's where all the grapes will still be growing late into the season. And that's when it starts to smell like grapes or like, oh my God. <clears throat> I don't know if I can describe it. It's something you'd have to experience. But if you've never driven through like wine country or you know grape country where there's just you know miles and miles and miles dozens of miles acres of just grapes in bloom at the end of the year like ready for harvest or even when they just just start to harvest them they're actually starting to like go through the up and down and picking them the scent in the air is such a strong grape like I don't know. I mean, it, it does remind me a lot of a, a grape uh, blunt wrap. If you ever get some of those, like, grape blunt wraps. That grape smell that's, like, overpowering. Like, if you break open one of those packs in the car or something. It's like that times 100 in natural, real, like, real grape. But that's, yeah. It is strong. It's strong. I mean, it carries pretty far. I mean, I've, you can drive along 90 and you will smell them even quite a ways away when you veer away from it. Lazy day, Sundays. 
I didn't bring a doobie. This is like the first time I did not bring one. I literally just finished smoking one out of my balcony before I left is why. smoke today. We're doing it just to, just to do it. Just to get this view right here. I heard you singing, buddy. I am just gonna sit right on this tree's roots. Make a nice chair. Thank you. I'm gonna sit and chill with this tree's roots right here in the dirt and just listen to the birds. That's the kind of Sunday it feels like. I just want to listen. This tree is... This tree is broken. It is dead. But I am sitting on its roots. same kind. It looks like it's dying too. I believe I found out that there is a certain kind of insect that's like not really native to here that's infiltrating, that's attacking certain types. It must be this, I think. Maybe this might be one of the type of trees that they're... I'll notice some kind of dead in bunches around each other, little groves of them. It's some kind of, some kind of beetle or something. actually look at the sun through the trees. They make nice shades.
nice breeze coming off the bay. Very nice. I see the leaves moving just a little. It's like constant but gentle. Makes the trees look alive, like they're dancing. Dancing in the currents. I have a feeling the trees wanted to dance today. Honestly, I could almost take a nap here. Well, I'm not tired, but it's peaceful enough. Like if this would be a, yeah, I could easily take a nap here. my watch, my rabbit watch. <laughs> UV is very high, according to my watch. Although UV is not very high where I am sitting by any means. In fact, I don't even look like I've barely gotten any sun this year. And I've been outside probably at least three or four hours a day, every day, since, well, even a month before spring started. We had kind of an early spring around here, at least temperature-wise. Pretty mild winter. I started, I started coming out. Boy. March, yeah. Maybe even end of February. All right. So that was some good, good much needed peaceful just chilling for me for a bit a little bit of just quiet I'm not really trying to think about anything just want to listen to the birds and enjoy the views look at the trees Yeah, that sound, that's new. It started, uh, well, I think two days ago I heard a little bit of them. What are they, They're like locusts or whatever? That 
noise. I heard a couple of them. I remember a late night walk. I was like, ooh, first time I heard them. But there was only like one or two of them. Very faint. Now they're getting loud. It'll get a little much. Oh, there's the cardinal again. It'll get much louder. Late August. That noise, that zzzz, will be so loud. It'll, like, it'll feel like electricity, like, like the woods are humming with that. It does. It sounds like high power voltage. That's what it sounds like when they really get going. There they go. Cardinals again. Yeah. Keep crossing by me. The cardinals have been uh, like showing themselves, coming up to me a lot the last week. I think. Be a good word to look into tonight. I was gonna last night and I didn't. I thought about it though. I didn't think about the word something. I never actually like did any research. I think maybe today, this evening. Do a little bit of research on Cardinal and see if anything stands out or draws our interest. Literally draw draws our interest. Because we are drawing our interests. An interest. You gotta think there's more than one way because an interest is money earned on a loan too. And if you think we are alone, right? If we're alone, like the universe, one verse, one word, one, we're alone. It's like the Bible says, it agrees. It's saying it with a different story, but if you listen right, it agrees. Because the Bible says you're born in sin, which if you look up the definition, sin is a debt. Debt is defined as sin, too. Look up the definition of debt, <clears throat> um, which is alone, right? So you're alone. So you're drawing your interests, right? And if you draw it, that's to pull something towards you, a pull. And if you pull it, that's apple, phonetically, it's the same, apple, a pull, a pull. Or a pull, a tower, which also, if you look at the word, it's tower, a t to be towed is a pull. <laughs> or a toad, like a frog, a toad. Or a dragon, drag on. Um, a pole, like a fishing pole, a rod. So he can keep going with that stuff. How's it going, man? Good. A rod and reel. Drawing, animating, illustrating, a reel, film, reel, this is real, reality, real, a reel, world, round, wound, a roll, <laughs> a roll of film.
chasing the dragon, eating his own tail. A tale is a story. Chasing your own story. Whatever draws your attention. Something nasty on that tree. So yeah, the dragon, which remember the apple too is sin, right? Like debt alone, you're alone. And the universe, the one verse. <clears throat> and if you're the dragon, drag on is to be drug. A drug is medicine, medicine. Right back to Apple, the pull, drug, right? <clears throat> My ducks are in a row. But yeah, you can keep going with this, those words. And that train of thought, the dragon eating his own tail, being drawn to whatever draws your attention. A ten, Aten, Eden, Aten, the garden, gardens grow things, whatever draws your attention. Attention, a ten, a ten, the sun, right? The sun is a soul, S O L, soul, star. Your soul you have on your feet, the bottom of your feet, and your heel, your heels, and your soles. Heal, you can start to link when you think further at this stuff, healing back to that medicine. And healing as in, like, to heal, to, like, to halt, to, to, to kneel, to be humble, to, to yield, to surrender. Surrender. Rendering comes back to that drawing, right? In the animation, in the film, when you render something. Sure, S-U-R means sure, to be sure. Whatever you're sure of, I believe you render. As it's your mind is literally the horizon. Like your like the sky is the limit. It's the horizon. That is your perception, your, your knowledge, your sight, your vision, how much you know, what you see, how deeply you see whatever you see is possible. If you can't see it, it's not possible. doesn't mean it's impossible, it just means you don't see it yet. Which means, theoretically in a way, from what I can figure, it literally could mean anything is possible, as long as you're able to see it and believe it. It's gotta be true, you know, from the heart.
miracles, basically. Mir, the mir, M-I-R, part of mir, comes from mir, which mir is where we get mer, where we get the word sea, with the sea, but it, like it's water, right? A lake, a sea, but sea. These words relate back to, they will relate back to you. <clears throat> Which literally you, or you is, the literal word you means us both. It's J-E, G, or G-E, J-E, means we. It means you, it means me, it means we. And it means the C. It means I, both forms, I as in me, and I as in the I you see with. It literally actually means those. You don't even have to envision it. <laughs> yourself but those are just the definitions for that one as far as i can remember sometimes my memory is a little fuzzy but i'm pretty sure about that one because je is the beginning of the word jesus right and seuss is a fish and a fish means more than one thing too because the fish means to retrieve something like if you fish something out you, you retrieve it you, pull, you bring it forth so jesus means i bring forth and fish is also interchangeable with the word school School means fish. There's no plural. Like fish is plural. Fish, fish, or a school of fish. School and fish are the same word. Literally, look it up in the dictionary. They're interchangeable with each other. They literally mean the same thing. And your school literally comes from, it's just a dialect variant of skull. Skull and school are the same word. Your skull is your school. In the school, it's also the church, and the temple. You have temples right on the side of your skull, right? But don't forget about the heart, the hearth, your fire, mind, and the heart something to it but they tend to kind of want to work against each other but they don't have to they can be sort of unified and work as one I believe they can and the ego will listen to the heart and the heart will listen to the ego a compromise, a mutual balance. Things that balance are light, at least to each other, and relevance. Doesn't matter how large or small two objects are on two sides of a balance beam, a scale, but they both have the exact same weight each other they're going to be light they're going to balance they're going to weigh nothing the other counteracts the other one one of them literally counteracts the other so they they balance <clears throat> it's like taking plus 10 and negative 10 still got zero still got you're still light got nothing no thing and no thing is perfect nothing is perfect perfect circle that perfect circle i think there's a there's a band called Perfect Circle. Pretty good one, actually. That's a ring, right? And a ring is a tone. When you ring, it makes a tone. That's at one. It's also reconciled. When you think about the alone, the debt, the balance, the being alone, born alone. So a tone is a ring, which is reconciled. And it's also at one to be together. 
balance, harmony. It is achievable. I mean, you can be at one. You can get, I think you can kind of get there on your own. I mean, you have to be able to. You have to be able to get there on your own. But um, there might be something special about it when you're like one of these trees and you end up paired with another human light hues or lights or colors, right? Waves, another bean. And a bean is a seed. <clears throat> so two seeds growing together sometimes can be very beneficial to themselves and the environment around them from what I've observed. It is not required, I've also observed. There's plenty of trees out here who've accomplished the same thing on their own. And there are quite a few that I've seen fallen that really could have used one with them. And you never know what might have been. So, but you can see it. You can see it in the trees, in the, everything, not just the trees, but the forest and the ground and the seeds and plants and animals and life, the way things reproduce in the circle, that circle of life, that is the dead, the dead leaves, right? The dead leave, a leave, leave is awake, to be leave, to be leaving is awake. That's what we hold awake in the morning when you're upset, sad morning, but in the morning when the sun rises, the sun arise is awake, right? So the dead leaves in the dirty ground. Dirty, right? The ground, the ones that grow back up, born alone. They're bearing, they're being born to bear. The bear is to show. So they're showing, they're showing their attention their perception, their drawing, their own intentions, I believe. These are things that have been coming to me, anyway. And I think I'm going to make this somewhat short, because, honestly, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat. And I want weed. I didn't bring a joint. But food sounds good first. I'm going to eat. And then I want to smoke some weed. And then I just might come back out. Which I, I mean, let's face it. I probably will. I usually do. A little later. But uh, I feel like maybe ending there with some uh, little bit of the insight that was coming to me. It's rare. Um that the stuff in my head that I'm able to put it to words very well for anyone. So I felt like that was maybe kind of a rare moment that I was able to actually explain some of it. And honestly, it's, it's just a fraction of it. That is the tip of the iceberg. It's just, um, it's one of them things. It's like, I know it and I can see it, but I don't know how to say it. <clears throat> um, there's a lot of that. And I find that I can often say, pieces of it, little bits of it, and I think that that's the way to help somebody else be able to see it, too, and I don't know if they'll be able to say it or not, either. Maybe they can, maybe they can, I don't know, but I think if they get enough bits and pieces, they'll just, like, like start to be able to see the rest of the picture for themselves, because there's a big picture there, people. There really is. I just, uh, it's very hard to put it into words. It truly is hard to put it into words. It's almost like a feeling. It's like describing a color. 